What is Ebola? Ebola is a virus. A virus is something that enters our bodies, making us sick. Most viruses attack just parts of your body, like a stomach bug, which affects your stomach and intestines, or the flu, which affects your throat, nose, and lungs. After a few days, the body usually fights off these viruses and you start to feel better. The Ebola virus is much more dangerous because it spreads all over the body. It infects the blood, which carries it to all the organs, including the liver, heart, kidneys, and lungs. As it spreads, it gets stronger and produces even more virus. And within just 5 to 10 days after first feeling sick, the organs may start to fail. So, if you feel sick, the faster you find out the cause of your illness, the faster you can get the right medical care, and the better your chance of becoming healthy again. What are the symptoms of Ebola? After the Ebola virus first enters a person's body, they don't get sick right away. The viral levels are so low that a person does not have symptoms and cannot spread the virus to others. Then suddenly, between 2 and 21 days after infection, the virus starts to multiply rapidly. Now the person feels sick and can begin to spread Ebola to others. Remember, a person without symptoms is not infectious. Only a person with symptoms like a fever can spread the virus. A person might feel tired, too hot or too cold, have headaches, joint and muscle pain, a sore throat, and a lack of appetite. As the Ebola virus spreads throughout the body, a person might experience a rash, stomach pain, nausea and vomiting, and diarrhea. Once the virus has spread throughout the entire body, some people may have bleeding from the eyes, nose, gums, or other body openings. As the infection grows stronger and more and more virus is produced, the person may become very weak, quiet and tired, and appear less aware of what's happening around them. Most people with Ebola will die if they do not get medical care, but people who are cared for at an Ebola treatment center have the best chance of clearing the Ebola virus from their body and recovering. This is why it's important to recognize symptoms, notify health services early, and teach others to look out for the symptoms of Ebola too. How do you prevent Ebola? If a person has a fever and other symptoms of Ebola, it is important not to touch, hug, have sex with, or share food or drink until the sick person has been examined by a healthcare worker. This is because the Ebola virus is present in the blood, saliva, mucus, stool, vomit, urine, sweat, tears, male and female sex fluids, and breast milk of an infected person, even after a person has died from Ebola. You can get Ebola when infected body fluid gets in even the tiniest break or scratch on your skin. You can also get it by touching the infected fluid and later rubbing your mouth, nose, or eyes. You cannot get Ebola virus through the air, but it can be found in infected fluid that has dried on surfaces such as clothing, bedding, furniture, or the floor, as well as doorknobs, light switches, and mobile phones. It is important to wash your hands often with soap and water, especially after you use the toilet and before you cook or eat. Also, do not share razors or reuse needles. Bush meat is very tasty, but because bush animals can also get Ebola, which can spread to people and spark new outbreaks, it is illegal in many countries. Anyone touching a dead animal in the bush or hunting, butchering or preparing bush meat can get Ebola through cuts or scratches on their skin or by eating the meat. So, it's best to seek safer sources of meat. If a loved one dies at home during the time of an Ebola outbreak, do not touch, wash or kiss the body. And don't touch the belongings or surroundings of the dead person. The house should be closed and family or neighbors 
should immediately notify the nearest health facility or call the Ebola hotline to arrange for a safe burial and cleansing of the home. Always tell the truth to health workers if you've been to Ebola hot zones, been around a sick person, or have been to a funeral in the past 21 days. If a person has been in contact with someone with Ebola, officials will follow up daily for the next 21 days so that, should they become ill, they can be transferred to an Ebola treatment center and be tested and cared for. Like many viruses, Ebola thrives when people spread it without knowing it. It only takes one person to infect an entire family or a village and beyond. Working together, communities that understand the fact about Ebola can stop its spread and save lives. How is Ebola treated? Getting treatment early greatly increases the chances of surviving an Ebola infection. Do not try to self-treat as this just gives Ebola more time to weaken the body and spread to others. If you have flu-like symptoms such as fever, chills, muscle or joint pains, headache, tiredness, sore throats or a lack of appetite, call the hotline for advice or go to your nearest health facility right away to find out if you might have Ebola or another disease which needs treatment. If the symptoms are worse so that you are very weak, have stomach pain, vomiting, diarrhea or bleeding, either call the hotline to check if you need an ambulance or ask a community health leader to call for assistance. While you wait for the health services, place the person alone in a separate room, but do not try to treat them yourself. You can help by giving them clean drinking water and food, such as fresh fruits, as long as you don't touch the sick person. Do not try to clean up any body fluids, such as vomit or diarrhea, that came from them. When the health services arrive, they will be wearing protective equipment like goggles, masks and gloves. Remember that underneath that scary-looking protective gear is someone there to help. They will take the sick person to the Ebola treatment center where they can care for them and help them survive. Specialists will come to clean the home and wherever else the sick person spent time to remove the virus. They may collect and burn the patient's clothes to stop the virus from staying in the house. All these precautions will help protect your family and community. At the Ebola treatment center, you will be given the best medical help available in your area. They will examine you and run tests to find out why you are sick. If you have malaria, typhoid fever or another disease, any necessary treatment will be arranged. If the test shows you have the Ebola virus, highly trained doctors and nurses will provide round-the-clock care to help you keep fluid in your body, relieve symptoms and help your body fight the infection. Plenty of food and drink will be provided to keep up your strength and give you the best chance of survival. If a person dies from Ebola, the staff will carefully wash the body with chlorine and water. Then the body is placed in a special bag which prevents body fluids from escaping. This is necessary to keep the community safe because when a person dies from Ebola, the virus remains active and it's still very easily spread to people. The family may come to see the body before the burial. The body will be transported to the cemetery and buried in a secure way where the family may organize prayers or other spiritual rites. Death or recovery from Ebola takes place about 10 to 14 days after symptoms start. Recovery occurs in those people whose bodies are able to fight the virus until it disappears from their body. Their Ebola tests become negative, they are no longer contagious and they can safely return home. However, men might still have some of the virus present in their semen for the next three months. So, it's especially important that they wear a condom during this time. Welcome your loved ones back into the community and celebrate their recovery. By working together and sharing information about the disease, we can stop Ebola. 